Thank you for coming. It, but this is a good thing to come to. This is another red letter day for South Carolina for our Department of Probation, Pardon and Parole to receive this accreditation. This is the first such agency in the country to receive such accreditation. It's not easy to get this accreditation. This organization, the Commission on Accreditation for Law Enforcement Agencies, is high powered. It's got uh, members, representatives from different law enforcement and other fields all over the country. And it is including Chief Justice Toll, who, who knows a, a lot about this kind of work, of course. Uh, Jerry Adger has done a fantastic job with a fantastic team in reaching this point of recognition. Of course, we knew it was here the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> but it is nice to be recognized by your peers as doing an excellent job. And Chief Keel, it, it just goes to show what we know, and that is South Carolina and its law enforcement and legal related community has the best team in the whole United States. And when people that I get to speak to about doing business in the United States, specifically when they're asking about South Carolina, it is understood when they walk in the room that the law enforcement community and the legal justice system in South Carolina is strong, is strong. And that is good. They ask about a lot of other things. They ask about workforce. They ask about education, they ask about the port, they ask about the roads, they ask about the technical colleges and the collaboration that leads to brain power with the technical college and the research universities and all hours are working together hand in glove. But this is something that is very important not only to these people who come from other parts of the country and other parts of the world to decide where to invest their fortunes, their family fortune, their business fortune, hundreds of millions and billions of dollars. These things are very important to them. And they can see it sometimes more clearly than we can because they're not used to it. But we are. And uh, Director Adger, you've done a magnificent job with a magnificent team. And this is a, a proud, proud day for South Carolina and we're gonna keep on doing it. Now I'd like to ask Chief Justice Gene Toe, step forward, please. Chief. Thank you, sir. Governor McMaster, uh, members of the law enforcement community, and ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Commission on Accreditation for Law Enforcement Agencies, uh, known as CALEA, uh, the Commission Chair, Sheriff Craig uh, Weber, uh, Executive Director Hart Hartley, Harley, Thanks for asking me to come today and my fellow commissioner uh, uh, to come and uh, stand here in awe and in recognition of the South Carolina Department of Probation, Pardon, and Parole Services. CALEA is the established gold standard for American law enforcement agencies. It was created in 1979 when several founding organizations recognized the need in law enforcement for developing professional standards for the delivery of police services. Since its inception, CALEA has accredited agencies under standards developed by the best public safety practitioners and leaders of our time. These standards cover a wide range of administrative, operational, and logistical issues and serve really as a modern management model for law enforcement. Uh, I had the joy of participating in the investment to cheer service for uh, Director Adger three and a half years ago right before I retired. I had high expectations for him as the new director of this agency and since that time he has proven himself to be visionary, a leader that this agency very, very much needed. It's my pleasure to stand here today and recognize his work, his staff's work, hard work to become accredited by CALEA. The agency will, of course, receive a certificate that will proudly be displayed, and it's simply a piece of paper within a frame, but it has a much broader symbolic meaning. The certificate clearly represents this agency's effort to achieve accredited status, and it represents a commitment to doing the right thing in the right way. In March of 2018, two professional assess 
assessors came to Columbia to visit Triple P and review the agency's files, activities, functional impacts, management strategy, and this is very unusual, and I've sat on the commission through a lot of evaluations. There are very few who receive 100% compliance with all of the standards we detail when we go on an accreditation and an uh, assessment review. Uh, through interviews, standards evaluations, policy examination, and organizational analysis, the agency added and modified policies and procedures that will enhance this department's ability to function. Triple P successfully completed this process, which normally takes three years, in two years. That is really remarkable. Uh, and of course, uh, a lot of that was because this agency was in good standing as it started the process. So this was an, uh, uh, an exercise in growing, not in starting over again. Uh, the assessors commented, quote, with a committed workforce, dedicated leadership, and CALEA standards as a guideline, Triple P is a sound agency that is well positioned to provide professional public safety services to the citizens of South Carolina. At our recent commission meeting in Grand Rapids, Michigan on July the 28th, CALEA commissioners voted unanimously to accredit this very deserving agency. This is the initial accreditation award for Triple P. Some agencies that are you know, into many, many years uh, and many cycles of accreditation, this is a first. And there's no other uh, probation, pardon, parole uh, outfit in the country. So this is a leadership in so many ways uh, for South Carolina. And I look forward to being uh, with you for many years into the future as this accreditation and high excellence certifications uh, are increasingly awarded. Uh, Director Adger, uh, thank you so much for letting me be a part of this very signal occasion. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you'll join me in presenting this Kalia Commission uh, to let's, Director let's, let's do Adler, let's uh, do shall we go in yeah. front? Yeah. Okay, very good. Move up. Congratulations, Director Adger, and to all of you. It's a group effort. No question. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I have so many people I need to thank. I want to first start off by thanking Governor McMaster for his support. Governor, you just have been unbelievable in supporting Triple P throughout. And I'm going to refer to probation, parole, and partner services as Triple P so my tongue doesn't get tired, okay? <laughs> but anyway, I want to thank not only you, Governor, but also your staff. Anytime that I call, uh, your office and I need support or guidance I get it immediately and I get immediately responses so I want to personally thank you and, and particularly thank you for being here today Thanks, also I want to thank uh, Commissioner Toll I mean you mentioned three and a half years ago at my investiture and when I walked into Grand Rapids of Michigan and I saw her standing in the lobby I just I was like wow this is really a good day so <laughs> truly truly when you have somebody at home that you know that's that's part of that commission that just made my day, so thank you so much. I also want to thank Laura Sanders, our regional program manager, for accreditation. Thank you for your guidance, and I look forward to working with you in the future in terms of our reaccreditation and making sure that we stay on track. So thank you for being here. I also want to thank Department of Public Safety and SLED for their leadership in law enforcement and their support of accreditation. Both DPS and SLED are nationally accredited cabinet agencies. So I truly want to thank both of you all, uh, Leroy Smith and, uh, and Chief Keel, uh, for your support and leadership. I want to say a special thanks to Chief Keel, though, because I can tell you certainly when I contacted him about accreditation, he truly lived up to the mission of SLED in terms of being an assistant to other law enforcement agencies. 
And I can tell you we would not be here today had not Chief Kill agreed to not only provide us with staff support, but also physical support in terms of communications and the location, the, the standards that are required for us to, to do with communication as a result of SLED's assistance. So, Chief, thank you so much for that. We obviously would not be here if it wasn't for that. And thanks to all the staff at, at Triple P for your dedication and your commitment to the agency and this accreditation process. This is truly a great time for Triple P, and I just want to ask you to give yourselves a big round of applause. Thank you. Now, to the people of South Carolina, I want you to know that this accreditation is a direct result of the governor and his staff in support of Triple P, both for guidance and budgetary needs. It is also the result of a strong support from the South Carolina Senate and the House of Representatives. The support from the Governor and the General Assembly has afforded Triple P the opportunity to think outside of the box and aggressively seek better ways to serve South Carolina. And I want to, by including, in my include, conclusion, I want to say that it is our mission at Probation, Parole, and Pardon Services to prepare men and women under our supervision to become better productive citizens. It is also our mission to provide assistance to victims, the courts, and the parole board, and to protect public trust and safety. How we carry out our mission is just as important as completing the mission. This accreditation sets policies and guidelines for how we carry out this mission. It requires us to function with excellence, transparency, and accountability. We are so proud to announce that Department of Probation, Parole, and Pardon Services is the first probation agency in the nation to become nationally accredited through the Commission on Accreditation for Law Enforcement Agencies. Thank you all so much, and I'll be glad to address any questions that you may have. Thank you. Thank you. We good. practical applications. Well, let me just talk in terms of morale. I can tell you right now, this agency is blooming. They, my, my staff is so excited. I was telling Chief Kill, they made me nervous. <laughs> and I'm like, this is a good thing. Why am I getting nervous? But yes, it's, it's, it means so much to this agency. You know, this agency trans, transitioned from a regular state agency around about 2000 as a state agency. And then they became a law enforcement agency. And I don't think they really meant, really understood what that meant. And today they really know that they are truly a law enforcement agency. And I can tell you when I came here initially, Triple P didn't quite know where they fit. And, that, and that's, that's, I mean, that's the real deal now. We know where we belong. And, we, and, and how can you address morale issues when you don't really know who you are? And so this is, this is critical to the, to, the, to the mindset and the progress of Triple P. Anyone else? Well, thank you all very much. God bless you all.